How are you doing guys? This is Joss from Kingdom Teacher. Welcome to my channel. Welcome once again to the channel that we talk about teacher and especially uh, the last day we have been talking about DTG and DTF. So I'm here in Acrobrip version 9 and we are going to get ready to print on, a few, uh, you know, print a few designs with uh, DTF so I just want to share with you guys my settings and the one that I've been using and I see that it works so you can get your prints out really nice so first um, this is the icon over here if you can see it I'm going to put it right here so that's going to be the icon that you're going to be using you go to set Acrobrip white version 9. You don't need to use the other one. So once you're using that, uh, this is going to be Acrobrip. Okay, so the first thing that you need to do is set up your uh, template. So if we go right here on the top and you go to view, you go to see templates over here. You go to open this. So right now, this is my current setting for A4 A4 paper. So I got this. That basically is the top and this side over here. Then I got the width um, eight and the height I got it at eleven. But that is exactly the paper, but I always print inside the, the red line. So I never print right there in the line because it can be messy. So that's my template for that paper. And then the A3 size is the same setting over here on the top and then on the side. But then you're going to have width um, 11 and then height 16. And always again, I, you know, print inside the red, uh, where and uh, so once you're going uh, to have this setting you're going to save it and give it a name and you, if you want to use for example this one you're going to hit apply and okay or if you want to use this one apply and okay but I'm going to do samples that we're going to send to our customers also to a few of you that have been uh, requesting this so I always use this image because it's colorful I like, and also I like the lines. So that's the templates. Now, the other thing that you need to set up uh, is going to be your units. So units is going to be right there. So what you're going to do is I more familiar with inches, no centimeters. So, but if you want to use a centimeter, you can use it. But I use inches, and then I set my uh, my layout for that. So we go to the other side, and if we go to layer layout, basically this is what I got. So basically this one over here, the width and the height is going to be all this part over here. So I set up this as I'm going to print on um, a shirt on a DTG but you know to to have space to play around this is the arena side that is showing me um, also the output and everything and then let me see and it says copy one in white so it's one and then copy in color zero so I'm going to explain that just in a moment but you're going to see it so if we go to colors, so something important is that you need to choose for the ink channel. You need to choose this one. That's, it says JKWWMC. That means that you're going to use all the color plus two channel for white. Your color, your color is going to be set up for 40. Your white is going to be set up for 60. And if we jump to color, you want to tell the program that you want 100% white under any color pixelate. 
So this means that it's going to put a solid white uh, base for the color or if you're printing your design, let's say that you're doing something in white, you want to be 100%. You can use gradient white if you like for some colors, but I have seen good results with 100%. So I don't even want to try this because we're not printing direct to a t-shirt like DTG we're printing to the transfer so you want the most possible those colors to be bright and have a good base so when you press that on cotton on, you know or spandex or polyester leather uh, it's going to show the colors so then this part over here a lot of people use it so basically I put all around uh, 5 pixel and this means that it's got to be choking the white so that means that if you leave it for example at 1 you may get the white line you know coming through maybe in some point of the design but uh, doing 5 at least 5 I've, I just found that the then the base the white base is going to be inside the color so it's not going to ever show you know outside the color part so for me that is working fine um, so we got that then for printing what you want to do is go to the printer option and select a style of photo uh, 1390 or four, uh, 1400 and uh, then for the port USB you're going to choose your Epson L1800 this part is important always have the check paper size you're going to leave it at off always you don't need to do that to put the size you know to check or anything in the program because you already have put the paper and the printer is going to start printing from you know the correct corner so you only need to put the correct paper then resolution is going to be uh, 1440 by 1440 uh, for both for white and color then type is going to be photograph and then this part of here you can leave it as false uh, some people change it to true but I leave it as you know false because I, again I can play with the design then the dot size is going to be medium to large so this basically what it's saying is that the medium dots is going to be for the color and the large dot is going to be for the white and that's why the white is going to cover more on that image so I think that's all for Acrorip um, you know the way the way I set up uh, this is my set my, my current setting right now and I think most of the people are using something similar uh, important is that you have your design uh, with a background transparency you don't want to print anything that have solid color because if not you're going to get that block of color also you can see here the resolution of the design is uh, 300 dpi or three three or three and uh you want a, a minimum do you want 150 but it's recommended um to be 300 dpi the mode that i did this picture was rgb but it should be cmyk but again cmyk when you go to save you cannot save uh png so for that you will need to save on TIFF or you we need to save on the um, a PDF file and then open it here so I know that Acrorip can manage T files so if you want to use that option you you have that option available but if not you can do a PNG that is the most uh, I think common to use on a software like that or have the transparent background um, once you set your um, your design and everything what you want to do uh, the last thing that you want to do is come here and uh, click this one over here and it's mirror your image 
So you can see the image, this is the, the one I did. So once I click meter, it's going to switch because you need to print by versa. And the software is going to tell the printer to print first the color, then the white, and then you're going to put the powder uh, melt that so you can press. So I think that's all guys. Um, it covers basically, you know, the basic of the acro rip don't forget to subscribe to the channel uh hit like that hit like also share the, the videos with other people that you may know that they need help or you may know that they are really interested in getting into you know printing t-shirt or making t-shirts and uh, this is a good way to start you know with the last technology out there dtf printing and uh, you can check kingdomteacher.com for all the all the supplies also the you know the inks the film the powder uh the printer oh. and as always thank you so much for your support and uh yeah that's it until the next video guys